Thanks, Anushka. So I want to pick up uh, on all of that with the uh, Sheffield United uh, forward uh, Premier League footballer David McGoldrick. David, thank you so much for joining uh, me. Um, in normal life, we don't hear racist abuse. How, how much of, of it is there online for people like you? Yeah, it's, it's common at the minute. Um, obviously, it's not all fans. It's just a small majority. And obviously, I think it's escalated over the past uh, year, we might say, with, obviously with the lockdown and people at home more and uh, people have a certain problems at home. And, you know, it, it leads to online abuse. There's been a few players in my team, me, myself. I've, I've been a victim of it. So I know that it's definitely there. And your view is that in recent years, it's actually got worse? Yeah, it's got worse. Uh, social media's got bigger, um, I think, in these years as well. So more people, more different accounts. There's so many different platforms of social media at the minute and uh, a lot of footballers have big accounts and it's easy to, easy to send a message um, to someone these days and to receive it. So I think it's definitely got bigger and the stats don't lie. And we've got this boycott of social media... Uh, organised by, you know, b both male and female English football this weekend. Do you think it will achieve anything? And what would you want it to achieve? Uh, will it achieve anything? We will, we will find out. But I believe it's a start. You know, I think people have to speak up. We have to make actions for things to change. You see what happened with the Super League. You, you, you speak up and, and if things get said, then change happens. When we need change, racism is a much more bigger subject than, than the Super League and, and, and we and we want change and we need change for otherwise in two, three, 20 years we'll still be saying the same thing. What would you like to see the social media companies do? Me personally, you know, um, I think some sort of identification to set up obviously, that's, that'll be hard and obviously there'll be privacy um, things that will have to do with that but you know, I think getting a social media account is so easy to set up. I think there'll be some kind of uh, if you're an adult driving licence, passport, if you're a kid, you know, the, the, your parents or your carers, um, someone, just their identification or email, just so that you can't go so low and send racial abuse thinking that you won't get found out because that's what most people think uh, will happen because they've got no, no comeback on them on finding them. Now, we saw Boris Johnson, the entire government, more or less, swinging into action to try and block the European Super League. Are you disappointed at how little, uh, seemingly, the government has been doing around this? Yeah, I was disappointed, to be fair. You know, 24 hours and you hear uh, Prime Minister talking about it, Boris Johnson, and then the racism's been going on for ages and it's always, it's, it's always there, but it's never on the, we're never on the front foot about it. We wear T-shirts sometimes, we... <laughs> We've took the knee this year to show our stance. We've done loads of things, but it's always still on the, on the back burner. And, and, you know, enough's enough. We, we, we've got to try to do something to, to stop this because it's 2021 and, and, and this shouldn't really be going on. Um, David, I'm just going to ring Deanna and um, John in. I mean, it is literally horrifying, uh, the kinds of things that people... It's not just racist abuse, it's okay, but the racist abuse is genuinely, you know, off the charts horrifying. Um, what do you think the government ought to be doing? Because it's plainly, plainly not enough is being done. Mm -hmm. Well, when we're talking specifically about online abuse, obviously the government has introduced the um, online harms bill or will be introducing the online harms bill to try and tackle a whole range of online harms, including abuse and particularly kind of anonymous abuse, to try and make social media companies take more responsibility and more accountability for their actions, but also to keep people safe. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how that bill progresses. I think that's definitely the right forward, uh, the right step forward. But on the point of, of ID, I think we have to be really careful. It, it's something I think we need to keep under review and discuss. But there what, is what, a... What, what, what's, what's the downside of doing what David would like to see, which is a formal ID process before you get a social media account? Well, I think, on, on the one hand, it would make people potentially think twice about what it is they're saying, because it'd be much easier for police mm. to take action and catch them. Mm -hmm. But there is the unintended potential spillover of stopping, for example, anonymous whistleblowers from speaking out um, and unveiling injustices or, or whatever it might be. Mm. So I just think when we're having these discussions, we just need to be quite cautious that we're not causing those unintended consequences. John, do you have thoughts about what we can do 
broadly to eliminate this Well, scourge. first, I want to commend them for putting this on the agenda because we're talking about it here tonight. Yeah. This is a big issue. I mean, I was a football fan of the 70s and 80s and it was ugly, violent, racist... And it was on the terraces. Yeah, and that's, that's moved away. We've managed to confront that, mm. kick it out. We've done lots with them in Dagenham. Dagenham Football Club have been brilliant because we've had a lot of trouble with the far mm. right. So we can contest and push this back. But it's now moving online and that's the really sort of terrifying, the anonymity of it. Did you say, Anushka, there'd be equivalent of 30 35 people screaming on the terraces on one sort of medium-sized game is the equivalent to some of this abuse. Mm. Now, we've got to get on the front foot and really sort of push back against it because this is quite terrifying, the statistics. That's why we've got to support what they're doing and we've got to make sure we develop and strengthen the bill going mm -hmm. forward and also call out these social media companies because they really, they really dodge dodge a lot of criticism on this. We, they're always reactive. They should be on the front foot trying to cut this out once and for all. David, if you're... Uh, there, you, you have, um, I, as I understand it, come off all social media. What was it that, in the end, made you think that was the sensible way to go? Um, me personally, I don't think um, I'm not a top superstar footballer. I understand why why they have the social media um, for the sponsorships and you know the advertisements. But me personally, I don't think I was gaining anything from it. Um, you know, going into your phone and, and looking, you can always say you won't look at your request, but you have a look at your request. When you've done well, you want to see what people are saying to you. And then coming across racial abuse, as I've done a couple of times, I've flagged up one time, I've, I've come across it another time. And, you know, it's just an ugly place. You don't want to be going into your phone and looking at them things. I scored my first ever Premier League goals last year uh, on a high, sitting at home with my kids. And then uh, I go into my phone and I, I get... Uh, a message that's speechless, you know, the, the words, the emojis, what I got called, you know, it left a sour taste in my mouth and, you know, I think it's a bad place, social media, if you're not, if you're not, it's not about how strong enough you are, it's just how much you want to take on there and I've got kids and I've got proof to them that, that that's, this, these things aren't right. David, it's tremendous uh, talking to you tonight and we've all got to keep our fingers crossed that campaigners like you achieve the result we all want to see, which is just to, you know, end this abusive behaviour.